Ladies and gentlemen, on Monday, the 7th of April of this year, the genocide in Rwanda had its 20th anniversary. In 1994, almost one million people of the Tutsi minority were killed by the Hutu majority within 100 days. Last Tuesday, the German federal parliament commemorated this with a nearly two-hour-long memorial session. Through all the party fractions, speakers challenged that we move to determinedly go against human rights violations and genocide. But it is questionable whether the German federal parliament members really learned anything from the circumstances which led to this genocide. Because the fact that, according to official reports, the genocide had been incited for months by the media in Rwanda simply wasn't mentioned. On the contrary, the mainstream media, also in our country, in like manner continues to enjoy unbelievable liberty. Basically, they can set people or ethnic groups up against one another just as they please, and like this instigate wars, civil wars, or even, like in Rwanda, genocide. Why is this? Because those responsible for the media agencies do not have to fear ever being brought to justice afterwards. And the same thing is happening in the newest reports of the Western media about the role of Putin in the Ukrainian crisis. The Russian president is portrayed as a power-obsessed despot who wouldn't stop at anything to increase his dominating influence. The public defamation of Putin is clearly aimed at inciting a readiness for war, especially in Europe. To remind you, the population of Crimea voted for their independence from Ukraine in March of this year with an overwhelming majority of almost 97 percent, with an election turnout of 82 percent. This is a fact. That is what live democracy looks like. Even if the USA's and mass media's understanding of democracy leaves little space for direct participation by the people. But which interests the USA is pursuing with their warmongering on European ground, you can infer from the media commentary America's global dominance threatened, which we recently broadcasted. If you'd like to support our work of spreading information, then watch and document how individuals or groups are methodically blacklisted in politics and media, and make Media Klagemauer TV popular with your friends and acquaintances, and help that knowledge about the true warmongers grows. We will broadcast other reports to this topic, so it's worth it to stay tuned. Join us again next time.